Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to put an audio file anywhere in the timeline that is not dependent on the video itself. And I'll have to show you what I'm talking about here so you can understand it. But first thing we're going to do is going to drag some video into the timeline here. This is some video from a recent snowstorm here in Austin, which we rarely get snow. There's not much audio in here, but I can use this as an example. Let me go ahead and resize this here. And what I'm going to do is I'll detach the audio from this one here. So let's go ahead and detach audio. And you'll notice that audio in the timeline always needs a little point to attach to. So for example, if we shrink this down and we tried to move this audio to here, it's not going to let us. It always has to attach somewhere. Kind of a workaround. What you can do is just grab a background here. Let's just grab a solid orange background, drag it here, make it longer. And now we can actually go ahead and drag that over here, but we still have something showing and we don't want to do that again. It always has to have something that it can attach to. You'll notice it has a little point there. Sometimes it messes you up. So a workaround I would do in the past is like, oh, I need to keep this audio specifically. So I'll just grab a, a background, drop it here and then temporarily put it over here. Okay. So that's one way to do it. That's the kind of the brute force way to do it. Another way to do it and perhaps the best way to do it is to use the audio bed down here, this area down here. So what you can do is actually grab this audio file and drop it into the bed down here. And now it can exist anywhere in the timeline. So let's use an, a bigger example. Let's use this song here. So I want to attach it somewhere and then maybe I want to switch out this clip. So I'm like, Oh man, I'm gonna have to pull in an image, drag it over here temporarily so I can work with it and then put my video in. Then I could drag it back, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use the audio bit. So I want to use this audio. You can just drag it down into here and it's in the audio bed now. And now we can put this anywhere we need it to be. So that is pretty cool. And regardless if there's anything that it doesn't need to attach to anything, it's down here the way it is. Okay. Okay. So there's one limitation. It's only going to let us put one audio file in the audio bed. You can't put more than one. It just, it won't let you, it will either replace it, but you can't overlap. Okay. You can't do that. Just won't let you do it. That said, if you want to do it in the timeline itself, you can put as many files. Let's resize this real quick. Just to make it so we can see better. We can put pretty much as many as we need in the timeline. Just keep adding and adding and adding and adding. One time I think I added like 20 or 30 or 50 or something. I just got bored but basically wanted to test it. You can do as many as you need to with audio, but again, it has to attach somewhere. So if you need to put a clip to the side, either you put it in the audio bed or you got to drag an image or a video into your timeline and temporarily attach it to it. Like right there, let it hang out here, do all your work there, and then you can bring it back to where you need it. Okay. Well, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you liked it. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up and all that jazz. And we'll see you again soon. Peace and aloha.